So Tony, uh, I've read about you in Accounting Today and Accounting Web, which is a, a real odd thing because most of the people I read about in those magazines are actually CPAs. They're not wealth advisors. In fact, I think there might be a concerted effort or conspiracy for those magazines not to allow any wealth advisor in the magazine unless they pay a really large like fee to advertise you know, on the back page. And of course, you've also obviously been featured in a multitude of financial and wealth advisory journals, but the ones that really stand out for me are the ones that are CPA, because I said we simply don't see non-CPAs in there. How did you get in there? And the other related question is, is you're one of the most passionate people I know. I mean. You're not just a professional who does what you do. You're a father. You're a surfer. Like me, you still play real life baseball, hardball. Yes, you're at third base. I'm at shortstop. But <laughs> how did you get into those amazing publications, and, and why are you so absolutely passionate about what you do? Well, the publications came looking for, uh, for me, you know, and, and I get a call from one of our other you know, directors in our mm -hmm. office saying, hey, this publication wants to talk to you. And the first thing they, they, they say to me is, do you have time for them? Yeah. You know, because they yeah. know how my time is the absolute most precious resource. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, you know, sure, well, is it a good publication? And, and you know, a recent one, actually, I thought was going to take pot shots out of it. They call, the, the tagline to what he wanted to know is he says, I want to know why you would ever call the CPA your perfect client. Mm -hmm. Why would that be mm -hmm. the case, you know? But I think what's happening is, and everyone I've talked to in those, trade mag in those magazines on, in, in the CPA profession was, they're all looking for a better answer, they're looking for a better way. They're looking for a way that says, I can't keep telling our CPAs to put in 85, 90 hours a week. Mm -hmm. The tax code's not getting any smaller. Lives are hanging in the balance. There's gotta be a better way. And you keep coming across our dashboard as somebody who, who might have just uncovered the answer. And so they're very interested and they love what I have to say. And then and they keep coming back for more and more. And eventually I think it's the way we're gonna do everything. So. You know, it's the right way. It's a better way, and and it's it's what we should be doing. And that's where my passion comes from. I mean, the question is, why are you passionate? I'm like, well, why not? You know, I mean, we're put on this earth for a reason. You know, we're not created so I can have a fat bank account or I can have a picture on a number of different magazine covers or trophies on the wall or any of that. You know, or a collection of home run balls. You know, that's mm -hmm. not what it's about. It's I've got about, one. You got one. <laughs> there you go. You know, as a matter of fact, you know, I won't even go into my recent tournament, but it was a great tournament. <laughs> okay. yeah. But I will tell you that, um, no, it's, it's not about, you know, it's not about that. We're all going to leave fingerprints behind, you know, when we're gone. And what is your fingerprint going to say about you? How many people's lives have you touched? Mm -hmm. How many people see you as significant? And how many people are better because you walk this way? And, you know, there's, if, if I'm going to be passionate about anything, it's going to be that. Mm -hmm. The most important thing in my life is my faith. The second most important thing is my daughter. And then business is like a really, really distant, like 16th, okay, behind baseball and surfing and triathlons and all that. And when I see advisors and CPAs and professionals across the country, and I see what's happening with their families, I see what's happening with their faith, the time they don't have to do anything, I ask them, I said, is the life you're living worth the time you're paying for it? And it's not, and it breaks my heart, it really does. So I want to give back what I've learned, what I've done in a way that gives everybody the opportunity to leave a fingerprint on this world when they're gone that says, Bruce walked this way and we're better because of it.